Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Today we are doing the Hajang Loop. Well, the next four days we're doing the Hajang Loop. That's three nights. We got into this place last night after a 12 hour bus ride from Talpa to Hajang on like a narrow three lane sleeper bus thing. Oh, I've, I've shot up a video of it or a photo of it, I'll put it up next. <coughs> but yeah, we arrived and this is our accommodation. This is where we slept on the floor. That did close. And then that was it. Sleepy time. That was at three in the morning. Four in the morning maybe. But yeah, we were awoken today about eight o'clock. I just heard a little noise outside. So I was like, what the hell's going on? Climbed out of here and, and looked. Everyone is outside getting ready to leave. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, I didn't check like anyone's here. So I popped my head out in the door. Like there's like dorms out where our thing was. And there was like one or two people lying about. I was like, oh, maybe we're all right. I seen there's loads of people that left. I was like, fuck, have we missed it? We slept in and missed the fucking tour we're about to do. So, thankfully not. Went downstairs, got checked in, got our free t shirt. I'll show you that later. And yeah, we leave at like 10 uh, for a briefing. It's like we got downstairs at like 9. So we're actually fine, but it was just through the freak out of like, ah! No one told us any information because we got in so late last night. We couldn't read any of the signs to tell you what was happening for the day. So we just had to wing it so we're getting packed up now you leave one big bag here and take like a school bag with you that's all you have for the three or four days so Ashton's getting hers organized now I was already organized so I've got that sorted and yeah we're doing the easy rider so what that means is someone else going to drive us apparently it's like quite dangerous to drive yourself you need to be like quite experienced and as much as I rate myself as a motorbike driver I'm definitely not able to drive this loop for six seven hours a day for four days so Come with us on the Hajang Loop with Mama's Tour Group. There's a word that describes Vietnam and their organization, it's chaotic. Just free for all, grab your helmet, walk about, figure it out. So many people in here. We're on the motorbikes. Just give us a wave, Ash. <laughs> this is Lou, he's my driver for the next few days. So, we're we getting to know each other pretty well. <laughs> I thought he had a Irish thing on the back of his helmet, it's uh, Ivory Coast. I got there. There's another Ashling in the group. I'm pretending it's Aaron. Well, this is absolutely mental. These views. I still do this for four days, views I guess. For my mom is absolutely flying on that bike. But it makes it all worth it for a view like that. Stop number two on day number one. Waterfall. Kids. Honestly, you do like a viewpoint, you're like, how can this look any better? And then you turn on the viewpoint, and then you see this. It's like the entire YouTube vlog on is just gonna be like, the photos and videos don't do it justice. This is unbelievable. Child with machete. So we made it to our first homestay. There's Ashton Sello. Um, I don't know how long we did in the bike today. We left at 11, got here at like half four, loads of stops. I mean, loads of stops. We'd go like two minutes then stop um, towards the end of the journey. But yeah, pretty good. Great first day, views unbelievable. Don't know how it'll be top, but tune in tomorrow to find out. Well, not tomorrow, tune in like in three seconds to find out. Day two of the Hajang Loop. Uh, this is our morning setup, all these bikes around. My driver Lou is just uh, organizing the bike. And I'm ready for another day. We bonded over a shot last night, which was good. But yeah, ready for another day. We're, we're up at nine, we're up at eight, way at nine today. So I actually got a good night's sleep last night and needed it. What a wee karaoke song. Um, take that shine. I mean, incredible vibes the whole way. Um, yeah, ready for another day. It's 
stop again. It's actually really good. You go for like five, ten minutes and then stop, but this is our view of today. View number two of today. Stop in the viewpoint. I'm like, everywhere we go, I'm just sitting there going, like, this is incredible. Like, what even is this place? I think we're heading to the Chinese border. Right? You see the kind of roads we're on, sort of like up and down there. So, behind me, you can see China. See this, like, border here? There's like a fence there. China. China. Yeah, they're not messing about, are they? Like a big old fence and stuff they got over there. Keep people out. China. Did you ever just want a nice relaxing break? So you decide to just chill out on the rocks? This man. Man of stones. This might be the most scenic game of pool I've ever seen in my life. Go Good morning, it's day number three of the Hajang Loop. I am feeling way more energized because I sang loads of karaoke songs last night. First karaoke song, Miley Cyrus, The Climb. No, oh, Party in the USA. Oh, Party in the USA. Oh, God. Party in the USA. Second one, I can't remember anything. I did Smash Mouth. Um, and then I did, what else did I do? Uh, Proud and Mary. Yeah, and there's something else in there. Can't remember, but there's my party hits for today. Oh, 500 miles. Uh, the Scottish people are wanting to sing that, so I stole the mic and started singing that. I was without a doubt. Look at the state of my head. That was without a doubt the worst part of the journey so far. My leg. It doesn't catch out. It's like the legs. Like you're constantly keeping yourself up, right? So, yeah, that was pretty, pretty insane. The worst road we've been on by a mile. But now we're trying to get on a bus to go on a boat trip. They don't tell us much. Just the riding places and have to figure it out what's happening. Yeah, I think we're getting on a boat. So they go down here in reservoir. Yeah, we're definitely on a boat. So this is tonight's accommodation. Final night, there's a pool over there. And then we're staying on these little huts. Because we've been proud for baby. That's us there. It's raining. Day four. Find it's the worst day on the bike and it's pissing rain. We've been so lucky, but it is proper chucking it down right now. Let's just look. The rain has stopped. And we're going back where we came from yesterday. I was wondering because yesterday we didn't get a chance to stop here. I was like, that's a really cool view and we didn't get to stop. So, a few more clouds today. But we still see, which is a pretty good result.
So I haven't filmed much today, just mainly because one, I'm slipping wrecked, and two, it's more of kind of what you've seen yesterday in the last few days, just unbelievable views. Um, we're at the last stop now. My ass is absolutely killing me. So sore. It's fine what, like, they let you off the bike maybe every maximum, like, you'd be on it like 30 minutes, but they just don't get used to it. You just don't. But, um, yeah, unbelievable trip. The highlight of Vietnam by an absolute mile. I'm probably going to wrap up the vlog here, so if you've enjoyed, if you like, if you have any questions about the trip you're thinking, and you know someone's doing it, shoot us a message. Uh, we did ours with Mama's homestay. This is the t shirt they gave us. It's very nice, and yeah, see you in the next one. Goodbye.